Hi everyone, my name is Mika. I'm now a student of Foreign Trade University and Faculty of Business English, which we love to call BE. Now, you're watching Explore BE, Explore Best English, a channel that is created by the Faculty of BE, an English club of Foreign Trade University, to provide you necessary skill and knowledge about academic and practical English. The content of this page is taken from lecture, textbook, reference material, and real experience of PE teachers. Well, you must feel so curious to know what will be explored today. I have found a helpful dictionary in the e library to share with you. This book is named Dictionary of Foreign Trade Terms. Its first author is Mr. Hanam, and day by day, this book has been added, proofread, and edited. By teachers of BE faculty, Dictionary of Foreign Trade Terms is recommended by teachers and instructors of Economics and Business School, like Foreign Trade University or National Economics University, consultants in consultancy company, like Invest Consult Group, and executives in companies with international networking, like Vietnam Communications Corporation. So who may love it? This book is highly recommended for students of economics and business school, the translators and interpreters, contract makers, and people working in the fields of international trade and related areas. How to use this book? This is a bilingual language book in both English and Vietnamese. It has five chapters and an appendix with further explanations and quotations of legal documents. Five chapters are Chapter 1 Economic General Terms, Chapter 2 Goods, Chapter 3 Connections, Negotiations, Contract, Chaptering, and Insurance, Chapter 4 Delivery, and Chapter 5 Expense and Clearance. Each chapter provides explanation and translation of technical terms which are categorized in three main groups. The first word, general terms, the second one, technical terms, and the last one, the most used phrases. We have an example here, in chapter 3, and if you want to look out for the word insurance, you can see, firstly, general terms on insurance. You can see the meaning of the words, or you can look out the words that have similar meaning, for example, insurance, assurance, accidental. Then you can look up um, technical terms on insurance. You can find here many words, for example, average dispatcher. They are people who pay for the loss or damage. Or indemnity, people who receive the payment for loss or damage. And lastly, you can see most used verbs and phrases on insurance. For example, settle a claim, substantiate a loss, enter into force. Then, if you wish to know more about different types of insurance in international trade and how they are applied in certain cases, just open insurance part in the appendix to read more about see insurance, insurance contract, insurance fee, insurance condition, and so on. So why do you love it? In spite of the era of Google search, ebook, or e-dictionary, the Dictionary of Foreign Trade Terms is quite useful for you. I just say that this book is a collection of knowledge and has become a reference material for all the book lovers. Actually, it is hard to say that this dictionary is the encyclopedia of foreign trade terms or this is the only source of knowledge. But I highly recommend that this dictionary should have a place on your book shelf. If you love to have a copy of this book, Please contact Faculty of Business English by sending us an email to this address tatmftu at gmail.com. Faculty of Business English welcomes you to explore the best English. Our library is full of English books in the field of business, administration, marketing, language, translation, and research methodology. Let me know what you need by leave your comment here. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.